Hi and welcome back. In this video, we are going to write a program in C++ to accept a set of 10 numbers and print the numbers using pointer. Accept a set of 10 numbers means we are supposed to read an array and we are supposed to print the values of an array using pointer. The program is very simple, but before I begin with the program, I would like you to show you something else. This is the difficult coding my website. On this, I post the solutions for every questions that I make a video of. So you can see the factorial of a given number. Here you can see the solutions of all the programs that I have posted on YouTube. Besides that, this is my YouTube channel, Ashish Pandey, Difficult Coding. There are only 30 subscribers. Please subscribe it. 27 videos I have uploaded till now and uh, I'll be uploading more videos. So stay tuned and subscribe to it. Thank you for listening and uh, let us start with this program. Now, before we start with the program, we should understand what do you mean by a pointer. Uh, the pointer behaves differently in case of a normal variable and in case of a array variable. First, we will discuss a normal variable. A pointer is a variable which has a capability to store the address of another variable. Simple. So we declare pointer variable with star ptr and is a normal variable. Both are of integer type. So ptr has a capability to store the address of n variable, variable n. So to get the address, we use ampersand operator now in case of array as a variable to store the address of the first variable we we write a statement like this so with this statement now ptr is storing the address of first variable of an array okay address of the first that is zeroth position of the array because the size of an array is 10 so the value will be from 0 to 9 so the address of zero position is stored in ptr okay so if we display if we write a statement c out ptr suppose if we write c out c out star ptr then we are getting value at address ptr so we are getting value this star represents over here value at address ptr okay and this is the same thing that we are supposed to do in this particular program. We are supposed to print the numbers using pointer of the 10 numbers, set of 10 numbers. That means the numbers which are stored in an array. Okay, I hope you understood a basic concept. Now, keeping this concept in mind, we will write a program. So, int a of 10 is our array. Okay, and star ptr will be our pointer. Fine and to loop through the array we will need a variable i perfect so see out huh okay now there can be a question that why i have taken int as a variable because they haven't specified the data type uh, they have said that we are just supposed to accept set of 10 numbers and we are just supposed to display it using pointer they haven't specified whether the 10 number should be a float integer so we can take integer it is okay it is convenient it is fast simple okay enter the values in array simple uh, we can specify more precisely enter 10 values in the in array so for reading 10 values we will start the loop okay so for i equals to 0 perfect because array starts from 0 i less than equals to 9 i plus plus please ignore the background noise of the dog maybe he is wishing you all the best for your exams so c in a of i perfect now we are supposed to display the value at each address using pointer so the values using pointer is slash n for the new line Again, I will start with a loop for i equals to 0, i less than equals to 9, and i plus plus c out. Now I will need the first address. So ptr equals to a. This will give me the first address and with the help of star ptr that is value at address 
PTR and plus I I can display the value at each position of the array using pointer simple uh, I will display it with the help of space Fine. now let me try to execute this program okay here is execute button hopefully it will work perfect it is working so let me give the value uh, 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 perfect the value using pointer is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 perfect it is working perfectly fine i hope this program is very much clear if you have any doubt in this particular program please post it out in the comment and i will try to answer it as soon as possible if you have any other question for me please post a question in the comment thank you for listening have a great day and all the best for your exam